All right. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Will, actually, can you please spell your name so we have it on camera so you can do the cue card? W-I-L-L. -L. <laughs> That's it? Is there you, what are you, Bono? No, it's, <laughs> sure. yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm a one, one person, Will. <laughs> We're here at WellFit, and this is your second time yeah. to WellFit? I was here last summer, July, five weeks, July and August, a little bit of August, and now I'm here finishing my fifth week as WellFit. Okay. So, a very different experience. How? The, the programming is set up in such a way that I understand it better. We're given more time to recover in between sessions, and so I give everything I've got during each session. So I don't feel like I'm just pacing myself to survive the session. I'm actually energetically building through the session and so the, the motions make more sense to me. I feel like I'm, I'm focused more on, on building muscle or core, whatever, you know, core strength, whatever I'm doing. And I, can, and I can retain it better and I understand it better. You can push yourself pretty far in a session, a mm -hmm. you know, class. So kind of the point is that You've gotten it down to a down pat where you go, I can push myself this far, and how do you know how far to push it? The way that the classes are set up now, it's easier for me to, to feel those limits, know where they are, and push past them. In, in the past, it was everything I could just to survive. Mm -hmm. You know, I, the, my limit was showing up, really. But now it's much, there's a, there's a sense of sustainability in everything I do. Everything I do, I'm gonna be able to carry with me and, and not only the exercises, but to know how to approach my limits every time now. So how did you get from that, I'm just here to survive, to now I can feel my body? When I first came year, a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, everything was painful. So for example, before I came here, if I was at where I lived um, and my ankle felt sore, I'd go like, oh, that's enough exercise for two years, I should calm down. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, and I would take it easy and recover for yeah. a couple of years. Yeah. So, yes. but here, trainers would come and say, oh, you know, if you, if you work this way on your, on your, if you roll more or if you land on the balls of your feet, just any kind of thing like that. So with that help and with my, my paying attention, I was able to develop this different relationship with my body that helped me go past those limits. What is the, what is the payoff? Is that alone its own payoff? Is that changing the relationship with your body? It, absolutely. You yeah. know, so, so now I, it, my body's, I, I'm much more comfortable with my body in general. I think if I was just losing weight because I hate my body, you know, like, oh, I hate the way this looks, um, then it, it has more of a, a chore feeling to it. And it's a, you know, a task that I have to accomplish mm -hmm. as a means to an end. Right. Whereas now, the relationship to my body is is the end game, you know, and, and so getting healthier is uh, a moment by moment, everyday lifestyle now. What else is impacted into that lifestyle now? So you've, so you've talked about one thing, which is the workout end of it, mm -hmm. but that's not the only end of it. There's diet, there's, you know, way of thinking. Oh yeah, general. so if we could just go with this theme of listening to my body. Right. Yeah. Before when I'd have the ankle thing, and I'd say two years recovery. Yeah. I would also listen to my body, would say, eat sugar, eat it now, get yeah. it, get it. Mm -hmm. And so people would say, listen to your body. I'd go, yeah, saying like, eat the ice cream. Mm -hmm. But now, when I came here, the diet absolutely helped me detox and change. Mm -hmm. Now, when I listen to my body, it says, oh, we need some protein. And so the hunger is not really this neurotic need that was sort of part of me ignoring my body. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's healthy and it's stronger. So diet, exercise, um, but also emotional. Some of my limits were, were, I was blind to them. Like I couldn't even tell that I was living by these limits. And so by having trainers really usher you, you know, right up to that edge and say, no, now go through, um, then, then I began to realize that I was carrying a lot more limits than I thought psychologically. And so then I was able to um, look at my own life in a way that was cleaner and more authentic. Like, oh, this is, this is who I really am. So do you find yourself now looking forward to, I mean, you're here for another little bit, a couple of days only. Yeah. Do you find yourself looking forward to jumping back out there? Or yes. Do you, do you have any of this kind of... Don't leave the bubble? Me. Yeah, don't leave the bubble. Cause no. It's, here it's easy, right? You know, they're not coddling us mm -hmm. at, by right. any means. They allow us to find our own, mm -hmm. our own thresholds, our own goals really nicely. But from the beginning, I've been saying, okay, what is life after WellFit? Mm -hmm. So everything I do here in the, in the, two, the two gyms, running around, uh, talking to trainers, 
is all geared towards, well, how does this work in the real world? Yeah. So the more I can learn about myself in here, the better I'll be at doing it out there. I think we got a lot, Will. Yeah, it's a lot. Jeez, we got a lot. You feel like we left anything behind? No, I, I like the way it went. I like where you took it. What, so we, what are we at? How many minutes? 20. Okay, that's good. Really? That was only 20 minutes? Oh, we wanted two hours. Let's do two hours. Let's do two. You want to go two? Barbara Ball. <laughs> Sign off. This is Brian and Will signing off. Next week. Yeah, get it. <laughs> get it next week, same time. Good night, everybody. Good night, folks. Bye. Can you spell your name, too? Why? Excuse me. Don't mess up my signal. So, the aliens. Uh, <laughs> That's how I gained weight with the aliens. Yeah. I can tear, too. I have it. Photobomb! Oh! <laughs> Sophie! God, Obama did that to me once. So embarrassing.